several hours. In fact, four days with temperatures below freezing, probably below about 25 degrees, if you can believe that. Uh, we are in the, uh, and look at that, DIA down to 23. So more evidence of that deeper, colder air coming in here. You see the teens just off to our north. 20s and 30s are very common across the region, except for the southwest corner. A year warmer uh, down there in that Telluride area. George Smith in Lakewood is 29 degrees, but falling. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen in October uh, that produced a lot of snowfall and then just a few inches. In fact, we had three years in a row with no October snow, so definitely 2019 uh, living up to its old reputation of October sometimes being a snowy month. Big high pressure here in the Pacific and up to the Gulf of Alaska is allowing this huge trough to develop with a transport of air straight out of the North Pole uh, and two storms in that flow. One is coming over us now. It will be here today into tomorrow as it kicks out. Storm two drops in and that hangs out for Tuesday and Wednesday. This one's stronger and even colder than the one currently uh, in our area. By Halloween it will pull away, but we'll get some strong winds on the back side. So Halloween's going to be a cold, cold day. Here's satellite and radar together. A lot of clouds out there. Zooming in, you see no precipitation, and that's because it's so light. Radar is having a hard time seeing it, but we can turn the composite radar off and put just the Denver radar on and crank the uh, values to really enhance things. And you can see a couple of bands of snow are developing now off to the north of Denver and out toward the Greeley area, and this trend will continue with time. So expect your drizzle to change change into snow as we go through the morning and early afternoon and then all afternoon into the evening and really into tomorrow morning bands of snow will work across the state. It's four to eight inches possible down in Colorado Springs in the Pueblo area, six to 12 around Aspen, uh, outside of Telluride, four to eight inches, and in the flat tops, four to eight. Here in the front range, our front range foothills all should get at least up to eight or better, some places in the double digits, and then on the 25 corridor, anywhere from about two to six outside of Greeley to about four to nine here in Metro Denver. And there's always going to be winners and losers. Somebody could get up to 10, and somebody may only stay at the three to four inch range. Uh, then then the second storm, even more cold, several inches of more snow that lingers into Wednesday. We are not giving you snow totals for the Tuesday storm because we need to get through the one that's knocking on our door right now. First highs today really go nowhere for most of the state except the southwest corner. We stay in the 20s in Denver. Your five day forecast. So storm number one is today. Tomorrow we're in the 20s. Storm two is Tuesday, Wednesday. We fall to the teens and Joel, that is not a typo single digits above and below zero uh, as we go toward Halloween. 34 for your Halloween with some clearing skies and this will warm you up and cheer <laughs> you up if that four day stretch has you a little bit sad. Uh, we do get back to some sunnier days as we go into the upcoming weekend for the first part of November. Lows in the 20s though pretty consistently even when we warm up. It's, yeah so and you know what that minus one yeah. If we were to get to minus two, that would tie the all time October low for Denver. So <laughs> pretty, pretty amazing little weather pattern here. It is. Yes, we're, we're braced for it. We're prepared for it, though, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. The new